Hi everyone, it's Jody from An Eye for Beauty. Today is Sunday, April 12, 2020, and it's Easter and Passover, so I wish you a very happy holiday, no matter what it is that you celebrate. And today we are calling upon Divine Mother Energy, or Mary, the Queen of Angels, the Blessed Mother. These cards are non-denominational, but what they really do is they give you one word that you need to hear for your highest good, something maybe that you need to focus on. So we're gonna pull three cards from this deck and we're gonna see what comes up for you, okay? So we have card number one, we have card number two, and we have card number three. Okay, let's see what you need to hear today. So we'll start with card number one. Card number one is signs. So I would ask you, if you chose card number one, have you been noticing that the angels are trying to speak to you? They're speaking to you, whether it's the angels, whether it's the Blessed Mother, whether it's your spirit guides or your guardian angels, they're trying to get your attention. How do they get your attention? Let's talk about some examples. Maybe you see a white feather on the ground. Maybe um, you see pennies. Pennies are pennies from heaven. Maybe you hear something repeatedly, whether it's something like a word on the TV or a phrase, or you're listening to music and the same song keeps playing over and over again, there's a message then. And maybe you're scrolling through Facebook and you keep seeing a rainbow over and over again, which is a symbol of like light, you know, what's coming on the other side. This is only temporary and what's going to be on the other side is going to be prosperity for you. So look for the signs. If you're not noticing them and you chose card number one, begin to watch and notice what signs pop up for you because you are definitely being invited to pay attention to them. The angels are trying to get your attention. Card number two is asking you, quiet is the card. And what it is inviting you to do is to be silent, to take moments to be still, to take moments to go within and feel how you're feeling, listen to the thoughts maybe in your head, but then connect them with how you're feeling and do they match? Are the thoughts in your head negative and worrisome? And then how does that make you feel? And if it's not serving you, maybe you need to revamp that. Maybe you need to cancel out the negative thoughts. You're really, especially if you're watching this during this coronavirus pandemic, the global pandemic we're going through, you are basically being given the opportunity to be still, to be quiet with yourself, to see what you're feeling. If you are a person that has gone through life just continuing to go, 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 and when a feeling or a thought creeps up, you shove it under the rug because you don't want to deal with it or you don't want to feel the pain of it or you don't want to acknowledge it, it's time to take the mask off or it's time to peel the layers back, peel the veil. Whether it's on a personal level or it's on a global level, truths are being revealed. A lot of people are having anxiety, being dizzy, not feeling well, not feeling balanced, and they think it's all physical. And perhaps there is physical stuff going on. But dig in, because there's also emotional stuff going on that's creating that imbalance. The imbalance of now having no choice but to stay still, to face what you fear, to face your worries, to face the emotions or the things that you didn't want to deal with. They are coming to the surface. It's actually a blessing in disguise. So can you take that opportunity and be grateful that you're receiving it by being given the opportunity to be still? So I invite you to take the time to be still and start to feel what it is that you need to be feeling. Card number three, if you chose card number three, is have faith. This is important for all of us, no matter if you pick this card or not, especially if you are going through a lot of fear right now with what's going on. If you listen to this later on than April 12th and you have a lot of fears going on, it's still the same exact message. 
the biggest piece is to trust in God or whoever your God is or whoever your creator is. There is a higher power. And right now you're really being asked to trust in that. You're not in control. I'm not in control. None of us are in control. And the, the quicker we all realize that is the quicker that we will heal this earth by knowing that God is our creator who we have to trust is going to take care of us, provide for us, keep us safe, keep us protected. And the more that you pray to him, the more that you will experience the miracle in the prayer. Have faith that God is going to show you that there is healing coming on the other side of the fear. So instead of fear, which means false evidence appearing real, have faith that everything is going to be for the best and highest good of yourself and everybody around you. So I wish you a great, great day and week and holiday, even though it's a little different than it normally is. And I hope that this served you today. Bye-bye.